You use it to protect yourself from sunburns. But a woman from Chesapeake says her arm caught fire. Her arm caught fire after she used the spray on sunscreen. And the same thing happened to a Massachusetts man earlier this summer. So we sent in on your side, Stephanie Harris, to check it out. Caught fire. Caught yeah. fire, you guys. This is the sunscreen. It's Banana Boat Sport. And this is Mary Shoulder's arm with third degree burns. Now she told me she has no plans to sue the company, even though she knows a lot of people would. She just wants you to be warned. The pain is almost unbearable for Mary Shoulders. I'm sorry, Mary. I know you're trying to be strong. And Shoulders is pretty tough, a welder by trade. She sprayed the sunscreen on her arm Saturday, then went outside to work. Imitated, I was welding like this, and I pulled off like that, and I guess the at long arc and it caught my arm and my whole arm went on fire. The burns extend from her armpit to her wrist. A similar thing happened to this Massachusetts man who used the same sunscreen before going to his barbecue. Their protection. Protection shouldn't hurt you. Shoulders mom contacted 10 on your side. Only for one reason, just so you guys can get the word out that these are dangerous. Aerosol sunscreens do contain warnings. On the back, in small print, it says, flammable, do not use near heat, flame, or while smoking. Shoulders said she waited about five minutes after applying before she began welding and thought since it was dry, it was safe. We contacted the Burn Prevention Network and the American Burn Association. The Burn Prevention Network could not recommend a safe amount of time to wait. The American Burn Association issued this statement calling for prominent warnings relating to time and proximity and advise users to consider lotion-based sunscreen. That's what Shoulders typically uses. I've never used the aerosol. Like I said, I just picked it up, sunscreen, put it on. Convenience that came at a price she hopes no one else has to pay. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Now, I just received a statement from Banana Boat. It says, nothing is more important to us than consumer safety. We urge consumers to read and follow directions and not to use sprays near flames, heat, or while smoking. But Shoulder said she followed the rules, and that's why she wants every parent to really think about what could happen to a child, say, if you handed them a sparkler or a marshmallow to roast. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.